in the comments section of my previous video about humanity being on trial, um, I got way more fascinating and superb comments than I really expected. A um, whole bunch of them, I guess I'll have to make a series of video responses to what just the comments because they were so good. Uh, the one particularly good one is uh, by Got That Funk where he just sort of said, look, Punch and Judy are uh, an example of making fun, literally making a fun thing out of violence, making something funny. Um, almost like, gee, I'd like to be up there with a club nailing punch, <laughs> or I forget which one does the punching. But anyway, uh, isn't that cute? He gets to bat the other one over the head as much as he wants, or she, or whatever. Um, ha ha ha. <laughs> what is it in us that approves of that? Well, it's there, whether we like it or not. It does seem to be part of us. Now, <clears throat> obviously, we have other parts to us that may contradict this. In other words, uh, what does our kind, gentle, compassionate, empathetic, nurturing side think of that side? The side that thinks it's funny when you, you know, kick somebody randomly in the testicles and just sort of, <laughs> I'm guilty of that. I love slapstick humor. Uh, Lowbrow slapstick humor has me on the floor laughing. The Three Stooges, I don't know, it's it just, it, it's just funny, I don't know why. Um, I guess it's the old, well, we can't do anything about it, we might as well laugh. But it's also, I think, uh, we have a vicious, sadistic element in us. Now the question then arises, what do you do about that? The fact that you have contradictory elements in your makeup. What do you do? Uh, how do you get the, the cruel part of you to coexist in reasonable peace and harmony with the gentle, harmless, compassionate, side. What do you do about that? Well, <clears throat> again, got that funk sort of said, well, yeah, we have means of dealing with this. Um, how do we feed the animal? I wouldn't, and I don't mean the animal as in the, just the thing that just wants to kill just for the fun of it, but, you know, a, a part of our makeup seems to require this, or seems to want it, or seems to, you know, okay, our compassionate side may teach itself to, you know, uh, chastise the bad side, but that won't solve anything. You're chastising yourself, aren't you? Um, just a pointless internal conflict that has no resolution whatsoever. The constant uh, battle in one's own soul, as they say, one's own heart between good and evil, which I think is kind of stupid. I would just say it's just two halves of the same, uh, or two sides to the same coin, as they say. Uh, so yeah, what do we? How do we deal with the fact that we want that it, it does seem to be ir ineradicable that we. Um, have this nature, this dual split nature, or I would even say multifaceted, perhaps infinitely faceted nature. Um, what do we do about that? Well, we watch zombie apocalypse on the TV. Um, and of course, we've all met the guy who just sort of sees people who are into zombie apocalypse and they say, what a sick bunch of bastards these people are that they're into this. Uh, you're into it too, buddy. You just don't admit it, your, your way of feeding the beast is to attack the beast in other people as a means of distracting yourself from the fact that if you really want to attack a beast, you might as well just turn on yourself and watch what happens. You just go crazy. Um, you just got to find some way to give that aspect of one's character uh, what it requires just to keep it more or less satisfied. Um, in the traditional Catholic way of dealing with things, which is the one that I was sort of raised in, um, you, the good side, attacks the bad side. You deliberately create an endless, as it were, civil war in one's own, in your own personality, <clears throat> in your own internal life. You learn to hate yourself because you hate that dark side in yourself. Uh, the side that wants to get laid, the side that wants to get into a fist fight in a hockey game, and the side that wants to get drunk, and the side that wants to have rather aggressive sex with a woman or whatever, you just attack that side of yourself. You hate it, you repress it, you bludgeon it. Um, I don't think that's a very effective way of dealing with it. I think it, it, that actually creates more violence, if you ask me. You're just internalizing it, and internal and external violence, I think, are equally damaging. It's pointless to try to deal with violence violently. Um, 
give the dark side, or whatever you want to call that side, the negative side, the mirror image, the negative image of ourselves, give it what it wants, give it what it needs even. Just do it in a way that's not disruptive or that minimizes the disruption. Okay, it's kind of stupid that we have to watch horror movies or slasher movies or whatever. And think about it, it doesn't sound, it doesn't seem very refined or anything like that, but I don't know. Is a peanut butter sandwich terribly refined? But, you know, what happens if we stop eating? 